what three strategies would you say have had the greatest impact on membership growth? And Kevin, we'll start with you, please. Okay, so great. Again, like, like, like you mentioned, we are a, a, a um, 130 plus year old legacy organization. But with that, we had 600 different components, which were independent associations at the local and state level. And they all kind of operated separately. And with that, they had separate due structures. And so when somebody would say, hey, I'm interested in joining, how much does it cost? We have to say, well, what's your zip code? Because we'd have to look it up and look at what your local dues were and your state dues were and add it into the national dues. We streamlined that and changed it to one uniform due structure across the country. So it's the same thing to join whether you're in Tampa, Florida, or you're in Tacoma, Washington. It's the same nationwide. So that was one thing. Uh, the second thing was we also know in the insurance and financial services space, the people that begin as an advisor, it takes a while for them to build a book of business. And maybe they can't afford the same professional dues that you would be able to pay later in life. And so we came up with a tiered due structure to allow um, people that are new to the profession to join at a lower price point, but also along the way for us to provide them the training and support they need to be successful in this industry. And then the third thing was we wanted to make sure that all of our members could differentiate themselves versus others. There are other peers out there in the space that aren't members. And so with that, we started using our social media platforms to highlight our members and talk about how they're trusted advisors and be able to put in front of consumers the fact that if you're looking for somebody to meet your insurance or financial services needs, go to a NAFA member and here's people in your community that can help you. And so we're hoping through that spotlighting that we add uh, much more value in ROI for our members than what they get out of their dues. So those are three things for me.